Lee, after evidence has come forward that DMV employees are providing incorrect information for voters seeking state-issued free IDs, one Wisconsin Institute says the voter ID law needs to be blocked. One Wisconsin Institute filed the motion last night asking the state to temporarily block the voter ID law. U.S. District Judge James Peterson agreed to hold a hearing to consider this request. The liberal group says not only are DMVs not providing accurate information, but say the state is failing to promote voters to get a photo ID. According to One Wisconsin Institute, the state only put voter ID advertisements in 52 movie theaters, none of which were in Milwaukee. Which is a pretty good indication that they weren't trying to get the people who need the ID most the information they need about getting that IDs. And then again, what we saw was in DMVs all across the state of Wisconsin, that people weren't being provided what they were entitled to, which is an ability to vote legally in this election. The DMV is taking extra steps to ensure voters are getting the correct information. Some of these steps include setting up a voter ID hotline number and directing state ID applicants to designated DMV employees. All employees will also have to complete an online training module by this Friday. Now, Ross says he hopes from this ruling all legal voters will be able to vote come Election Day. The hearing is scheduled for next Wednesday.